Have you been carrying your luxury handbags as much lately? Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome back, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I mainly talk about handbags, so if you like that kind of content, then come join AKB Bags. But today I wanted to kind of do an off-the-cuff video of just something that I've noticed in my handbag experience from when I started watching YouTube, how long I've been on YouTube, and what I've been gravitating towards lately. <laughs> Uh, you know, I started watching YouTube back when COVID happened and you're, you, everybody was inside, you know, you were online shopping a lot. You also got COVID money. Anybody else? <laughs> and I also just, you know, spent my money cause it was like I had extra. <laughs> Plus, I had a job and I still worked and um, I thought, you know, now is the time back in 2019 and 20 to get my luxury purchases, which I don't regret any of them. I enjoy all my Louis Vuittons that I was able to get. I mean, I, I felt I feel lucky to have the ones that I have. I just uh, noticed that lately I keep gravitating towards contemporary brands or things that dupes that look like a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton dupe you know that doesn't have the name on it I've been gravitating towards different things like that one big reason um, also I'll just be up front with you I basically retired from my job that I had for 20 years so now I'm transitioning into stay-at-home mom. I love to thrift and resale handbags. Um, you know, I've got my Poshmark Mercari. I have, I sell at uh, my friend's boutique now. Um, so I'm, it's a different phase of my life that I'm going through now. I like to cook. I like to bake. <laughs> All these things that maybe I didn't do as much before because, well, I didn't have time. Now I've got all this time. I have all these Louis Vuittons <laughs> that are authentic and I'm not carrying them. I do go out still, you know, my daughter's in school. Um, we have events, you know, we go shopping, you know, like everybody else, but I am grabbing my coaches and my Doonies or my Walmart dupes. I mean, I, have loved Coach and Dooney for over 25, 30 years. So for me to leave them behind, I never was going to do that. I still grab Dooney's and Coaches. Now more Coach when I was younger was popular um, and now I'm getting into a little bit of Michael Kors. Um, I had a couple of Kate Spades but I don't necessarily love Kate Spade, but you know, the quality of Coach and Dooney is, is usually bar none. Like it's up there with luxury to me and it's more affordable for someone that can't buy a Louis Vuitton all the time. <laughs> and you know, if you've noticed like my last unboxing, I was so excited to open this bucket bag and it's a Dooney, obviously, and it is the amazing quality of a Dooney. If you haven't bought a Dooney, you're missing out because they have all kinds of leathers. They have canvas. They have the Florentine. They have the pebbled leather. Um, and I have many of vintage Dooneys that are all weather leather. <laughs> They, they last the test of time. And I'm not saying that I will never buy a Louis Vuitton or a real Gucci or Fendi or, you know, all those brands. But 
they may be fewer and far between. So am I glad I got, you know, here a little eye candy, my Viva City GM? Oh, yes I am. I love the vintage Louis Vuittons still. Now this one is my Aina PM, which I ha had used this so much when I got it. Um, probably in 2020, I can't remember the date, but this bag right here, I have used a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, I still love the Louis Vuittons too. My top three brands are Louis Vuitton, Coach, and Dooney. Um, I have, a, and a little bit of Michael Kors, like it just depends. I tend to buy Michael Kors, but then after a while, I fall out of love with them. I don't know why. <laughs> and maybe I haven't found the right bag with them yet. Like that purple big giant hobo, I now it's gone bye bye out of my house. <laughs> um, but that leather was seriously thick and it was amazing. So if I find some older Michael Kors, then it may be in my channel in the future. But I mean, are you carrying as much luxury as you were say three years ago four years ago because I know I'm not <laughs> I and I have come back to my roots so to speak of Doonies and coaches and this was my birthday bag right here this uh, small messenger I believe I'm not for sure on the name but um, it's in my main video when you click on my page my YouTube channel this is the video that comes up and it's in the color natural it's the florentine leather it has a back pocket i believe these are on sale right now uh, on dooney and burke but yeah it has the gold plated hardware i mean this is florentine leather which is italian leather it's to me this is luxury <laughs> And it'll, you know, patina over time. I've had it since May 5th. That was my birthday. But yeah, I I am going back to what I really like. And less luxury is what I tend to grab for for going out. And then this is another one that will come out. I'm so glad. This was a great deal on Dillard's, I believe. And it's the soft tabby with suede. And I love the teal color. It's dark and the, the different textures and the softness of the suede. Yeah, this, I love the big buckle. I mean, the details of Coach and Dooney are amazing. <laughs> but yeah, it's, and it, this one, you know, can be a shoulder and or a crossbody, but amazing like coach amazing <laughs> and then now that I'm on YouTube I've been partnering up with different people and Quince has been a big sponsor you know ship that I have gotten and I just did this beautiful convertible crossbody and I will link the link down below for Quince but these are in the affordable range, but super soft leather. <laughs> and so I prefer to spend affordable money, not luxury money. <laughs> I mean, with the economy and everything that's happening, everything is higher. Um, I look for deals and I usually find them. So also subscribe to my channel because <laughs> you will, uh, I will alert you of any kind of deals if I find any good ones. But I wanted to show you, this was my, my quince bag, but I bought these Amazon clips. Thank you, Linda, for helping me find these Amazon clips. Right here. I don't know if you could see them. They're not the best to, they screw in um, and then you turn them and then you connect your chains, but it works. And you just stuff your chain down inside. I made it a top handle, cause I thought it was just cute as a little top handle. I gravitate 
to the top handle. It's just easy grab and go. But yeah, I have been liking bags that aren't thousands of dollars. And it's not because I couldn't get them, because I can. <laughs> I am just choosing not to. <laughs> I am going back to Coach and Dooney and I'm going to explore some brands that, you know, I find on Instagram possibly with good quality. I'm going to explore maybe Tory Burch. Um, maybe, you know, I have Kipling's. I have Longchamp, you know. Th those are some brands that I really am liking. <laughs> and they're not astronomical in price. Well, some of them may be. But <laughs> depending on the bag you get. So anyway, I just wanted to give my thoughts since I was thinking about it and I was like, I'm going to do a video on this. Let me know down below if, if you're in the same boat as me. Um, is it the atmosphere we're living in now? Why? Why? <laughs> Are you carrying your luxury bags as much lately that you were carrying three years ago, four years ago? <laughs> Let me know down below. But yeah, I just showed you a little my eye candy, but also I wanted to hear your thoughts on this subject. And uh, until next time, though, I will head out of here and talk to you soon. Bye.